Let's get a fair balance read from Republican Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming, the Senate Republican Conference chair. Uh, the Senator, um, he seems to, with other Democrats, be cobbling together something that might dispense with hiking all the income rates, including those on the wealthy, and target on the super wealthy with something like a wealth tax. That seems to be where they're going. What do you think of this? Well, first, Neil, welcome back. On behalf of all your fans in the state of Wyoming, Thank we're you. delighted to see you doing so well. And as a doctor, I am very glad that you were vaccinated, and I hope many of your followers uh, will choose to do that as well. In Thank looking you, at this $3.5 trillion massive tax and spending bill and how they want to pay for it, just remember when they target some people, there are more pages in the bill than there are billionaires in the United States. And the cost of each page, 2,500 pages in the bill, is over $1,400,000,000 a page. So everybody's going to end up having to pay for this if they get to finally figure out what's going to be in it and how they want to pay for it. But everyone's going to get hit one way or the other through higher taxes, uh, through higher debt for our nation, and through the punishing, the most punishing tax of all, which is inflation, which is hurting people today when they go to buy groceries or gas, when they go to heat their home. All of those things are hurting the American public. Uh, this whole dust up over the roles that Senator uh, Manchin and Kirsten Sinema are playing as being the holdouts on some of the bigger spending plans. Senator Manchin, uh, you know, was talking out loud about the possibility of leaving the party says that doesn't isn't going to happen but even if he did were an independent he would be still caucusing with the democrats the fact that he's even talking like that what did you make of that well he worked very closely together he's the chairman of the energy committee i'm the ranking republican on that committee we see eye to eye on many issues specifically american energy and what we see what the biden administration has done has declared war on American energy. And that's why people today are paying the highest at the pump that they've been in seven years. Uh, we see natural gas prices the highest in seven years. And half the houses in America are heated with natural gas. So Joe and I agree that this is terrible for the country, has caused massive inflation on energy. And now this administration after it killed the Keystone XL pipeline, blocked drilling in Alaska, blocked exploration on, on federal lands, which has a huge impact in Wyoming. Now the administration is asking OPEC and Russia to produce more energy for America. I mean, this you're talking He's about. He's also a, talking a about tapping the those petroleum people. reserve, the emergency oil reserve. How do you feel about that? Well, it's you take a look at the times that it's been used for an emergency. We have that energy in America, in the ground. We ought to be able to explore for it. There is no reason in the world that we are today using more oil from Russia than we are from Alaska, and we're using twice as much now as we were a year ago. Got it. Senator Barroso, thank you very, very much, and appreciate the kind words as well. Uh, as we follow this drama on Capitol Hill, when it comes to uh, whether they can get anything together, uh, some Democrats say, yeah, they can within just a few days. We'll watch that very closely.